I'm not sure that I've ever seen anything like that one inning. Um, but, you know, I think to me, and I'll go back and talk to our club at the end of the day, even in something as difficult as that, I think that there are, are good lessons for our kids, you know. Um, and so we'll, we'll try to impart those lessons and then move on. Um, I, I don't know if we ended up on the, the bad end of like some sort of an NCAA record for runs in an inning or something like that. But, um, you know, I, I think that I'm not going to let that sort of color a year in which, you know, I, I think we had some really positive moments. And um, so we'll just kind of move on and, and try to focus on the, the positive. You obviously wait, a, a, we have a microphone holder, so if you could wait for the microphone in the front. Official microphone holder of the ACC. There you go. Up three to nothing. You knew that Clemson had the, the firepower to come back, uh, but but not something like, like that. Just what were you telling your, your team after you're up three to nothing there, there early? Um, I mean, not a lot. You know, I mean, I, I think the thing for us, I, I feel like the thing that you have to do against Clemson is – you have to pitch ahead, right? Um, I mean, because they take, they, they are really good in plus counts, you know, in, in hitters counts. And just about, you know, I, I mean, outside of a, a couple of balls that sort of fell in in two strike counts, every one of those pitches was, you know, with the exception of probably Davidson's grand slam, um, but they were in a plus count, you know, and, and they get the barrel out there and they get it out there and they're looking to do some damage with it, you know, because I think one of the things that, jumps off the page for me with that club is how many runs that they've scored their slugging percentage but if you look at their batting average their batting average is like relatively pedestrian you know um and so when they get their opportunity and when you get you know behind in the count as a pitcher they typically make you really pay for it and and, and they did Aaron. coach you kind of alluded to the fact that there have been some really good moments over the course of this season and of course you know, started out with, with such promise that first week back mm -hmm. at LSU but um, you, it seemed like you kind of knew there were going to be some growing pains with this young team but when you look back at the course of the season how do you kind of put it all in perspective and are, are you satisfied with, with the growth that you saw from those young players? Um, yeah, Yes and no you know I mean I think it's like there are times where we I think we took like really really positive steps forward and then sadly we would like kind of take a couple of steps back. And I, uh, you know, I think that if you look at the overall trajectory of the season, I think those younger pitchers, and, and that's where we were youngest. You know, we were youngest on the mound, and that's a bad place to be young. Um, and so outside of Scott Tully, you know, we, we're throwing freshmen and sophomores and sophomores that didn't see a whole lot of game action last year out there. And, you know, we had a crew of guys that went off into pro ball and, and had pitched a significant amount of innings for us over the last three years. So. I think that there was some real growth here and there, you know, in spite of how it ended up for Cam Brown. I thought Cam Brown pitched well down the stretch. You know, in spite of last night, I think Andrew Belsick threw the ball well throughout the course of the year. Cole Komet threw the ball well. Um, there were guys that I thought made, you know, really substantial moves forward. Um, and, and so I think the, the message for me to them is like, look, you know, reflect on the season. You're going off into summer ball for most of them take some of the lessons that you've gleaned from both the good and the bad and probably more the bad than the good and try to get better you know um, and, and I think they will I mean I think that over our time here at Notre Dame and and, and, and BC before that I think that sometimes it takes our kids a little bit longer perhaps you know we're not getting like the you know the, the the perfect game top 50 players all the time but i think that w we have a pretty decent trajectory of being able to develop kids and, and these guys will get better any more questions for coach 